In this video, we will show you how to set up two Reach RS2 units to work in RTK mode over LoRa radio, one as a base and one as a rover. If you've just received the units and haven't updated them yet, watch this video before we start. The link is in the description below. We will need two Reach RS2 units, a Wi-Fi network, and a smartphone or a tablet with the ReachView app installed. In this example, we use a smartphone. Connect Reach RS2 units and your smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network. By default, every Reach has the same name. Let's rename them so it's easier to distinguish base and rover in the field. Open ReachView and choose any of the units from the list. There's an easy way to understand which unit you're connected to. Just open the menu and tap the lamp-shaped button. You will see the device's power button LED blinks. Let's mark the first unit as a base. Go to Settings and change the name to Reach Base or any other you like. Press Save. This will also change the name of Reach in Hotspot mode. Do the same with the second unit. Change the name to Reach Rover. After both units are renamed, update the list of devices. They will show up in ReachView app as Reach Base and Reach Rover. Now you won't mix them up. Next, we'll configure RTK settings and communication between base and rover. Let's start with the base. Connect to the base unit. Open the RTK settings tab and pick each of the satellite systems. Set the update rate at 1 Hz. Press Apply. Now we'll set up LoRa radio on Reach RS2 base to broadcast RTK corrections. Go to the Base Mode tab, enable the Corrections Output section, and select LoRa. Choose Frequency. Make sure you use License Free Frequency Band for your region. In case there are restrictions, frequency band limitations will be applied automatically. Set the output power to 20 dBm and air rate at 9.11 kilobits per second. Press Apply. Scroll down to the list of RTCM3 messages and select all of them. Set ARP station coordinates at 0.1 Hz and others at 1 Hz. Apply settings. That's all for our base. Now let's set up the rover unit. Connect to the Reach rover in ReachView app and open RTK settings. Set the positioning mode to kinematic. Select the same GNSS systems as for the base. Set 5 Hz update rate and press apply. Now we'll configure LoRa radio on the rover unit to receive the corrections. Go to Correction Input tab and pick LoRa. Frequency and air rate settings should match the settings on the base. When you're done, apply changes. Make sure that corrections are passing from the base to the rover. To do this, provide both units with a clear sky view. At this step, you can go outside or just put both receivers by the window. For a quick check, it's enough to put the units close to each other. However, for work, you will definitely need to attach LoRa antennas to both receivers. Open the Status tab on the rover unit. The green and orange bars stand for available satellites. If LoRa is configured correctly, they'll be accompanied by gray bars. These stand for the corrections received from the base station. Once the rover is receiving corrections from the base, you are ready for work. Thanks for watching.